At first it was just a strange mistake. One of the biologists noticed a small insect that seemed unusually long for a wasp. But looking closer, he realized, it wasn't a wasp, it was a mantis perfectly imitating its shape and coloring. The species was named Vespa mantodea velene, discovered in Peru in 2019. It became one of the best examples of Batesian mimicry, when a harmless animal disguises itself as a dangerous one to avoid being attacked. In this case, the mantis has neither a sting nor venom, but its body is colored with yellow and black stripes just like a real wasp. And even the movement of its front legs mimics the behavior of a stinging insect. What's remarkable is that the Vespa mantis doesn't just copy the appearance, it even imitates the walk and characteristic jerky movements, making the deception as convincing as possible. Predators, when they see such a wasp, prefer not to take the risk. The mechanism behind this mimicry continues to amaze biologists. How, over the course of evolution, could a creature with no common ancestors achieve such precision in imitation? There aren't many answers, but one thing is clear. In the wild, it's not strength that wins, but adaptation. This mantis is not the only one of its kind. But its discovery serves as an important reminder. Nature in the Amazon has been perfecting survival strategies for millions of years. And sometimes the most harmless creature turns out to be a master of deception. And, as the next discovery showed, deception in nature can take on even more sophisticated forms. The decoy spider. In Peru, in the Manu National Park area, researcher Chris Hart discovered something astonishing. In the center of a web hanging between branches, there was a strange figure. At first glance, it looked like an ordinary large spider. However, upon closer inspection, it became clear this was not a living creature, but a construction made of leaves, twigs, and insect remains. At the center of the structure was a small real spider, a master of disguise. This discovery was documented in 2012. The spider species, presumably from the genus Cyclosa, turned out to be capable of building decoys, false copies of itself that are several times larger than its actual size. These figures serve as a distraction for predators. By attacking the fake, predators give the spider a chance to escape. What is especially striking is that the structure of the decoy even included the correct placement of legs and head, as well as the symmetry characteristic of real spiders. This makes the decoy visually very convincing. Such a level of behavior requires not just instincts, but also the ability to repeat patterns. Researchers believe this is one of the most complex examples of defensive architecture in the spider world. The discovery confirms that in the natural world, defense is not just a matter of venom or fangs. Sometimes it's enough to be able to create the right image. But there are other creatures that don't pretend. They actually glow in the dark. The glowing mushroom. Perhaps the most mystical discovery in the Amazon is the bioluminescent mushrooms, capable of glowing in complete darkness. Among the most well-known are Mycena chlorophos and its related species. These mushrooms emit a soft green light, barely visible to the eye, but easily noticeable after staring in the dark for a while. Bioluminescence is the ability of an organism to emit light as a result of a chemical reaction. In mushrooms, this occurs thanks to the enzyme luciferase, which interacts with the substance luciferin. Unlike fireflies, the mushroom does not blink but glows continuously. They grow on decaying wood and are mostly active at night. According to one theory, their glow attracts insects that help spread their spores. Another theory is that the glow may deter predators or serve as an internal clock mechanism to coordinate growth. Amazingly, such mushrooms were discovered as far back as the 19th century. However, only modern instruments have made it possible to study them at the molecular level and many species still remain undescribed. As it turns out, nature is capable of creating light even where there is no sun. But in some cases, this light serves not just as decoration, but as a deadly trap. Trap larvae. Imagine the nighttime depths of the Amazon. Silence, and suddenly dozens of tiny glowing dots, like stars, begin to appear from beneath the ground. This isn't magic. These are the glowing larvae of predatory beetles hiding in the soil. One of these species was described in 2014. It belongs to the Elateridae family of click beetles. These larvae produce light, using the same mechanism as fireflies, but they use it differently, as bait. They arrange their glowing bodies into a kind of pattern. The points of light are positioned in an arc, creating the illusion of a safe passage. Small insects, attracted by this glow, move toward it. And then the larva strikes instantly. This is one of the rare cases where bioluminescence serves as a hunting tool rather than a means of communication. Some researchers compare the behavior of these larvae to spiders building webs, but in this case, the web is made of light. Such organisms are extremely difficult to detect as they are active only for a few hours at night and only during the season of high humidity. Their lives are fleeting, but in that time they manage to leave offspring and disappear into the darkness. When a predator turns light into a weapon, it's not magic, it's evolution. Chameleon 
In the very heart of the Amazon lives a frog that even experienced researchers might not notice, even up close. This is no exaggeration. A species called Pristimantis mutabilis, or the chameleon frog, can not only change its color, but also the texture of its skin. Yes, you heard that right, the texture. This tiny amphibian can make its skin either smooth or bumpy, covered with growths that mimic moss or lichen in just a matter of minutes. This ability was first recorded in Ecuador, but the frog also lives in the Peruvian part of the Amazon. Such an adaptation gives it a unique advantage. It becomes part of its surroundings, literally. Sitting on a patch of moss or old wood, the frog changes not only its color, but also the shape of its body to blend in with the background. Even when it's moving, it's hard to spot. The mechanism behind this phenomenon is not yet fully understood. Researchers suggest that the frog's skin contains special cells capable of rapidly changing the structure of the epidermis, something previously thought impossible for amphibians. This discovery has shown that mimicry is not just about coloration. It's an entire arsenal of biological tools aimed at one thing, survival. And the deeper science delves into the tropical forests, the more often it encounters things that once seemed impossible. But while some hide by changing themselves, others survive by altering their chemical composition. Thermal worms. The Amazon is not just giant trees and wild animals. Its microscopic world conceals true wonders. Some of them are so-called extremophilic microorganisms, discovered in hot springs, underground layers, and even in decaying organic matter. One such species was found in the thermal swamps of Peru. These are ancient single-celled organisms, resembling bacteria but differing in DNA structure and survival methods. They are capable of living at temperatures above 190 degrees Fahrenheit, in acidic and saline environments where no other organism can survive. These microorganisms are invisible without a microscope, but they play a huge role in the ecosystem. They decompose organic matter, produce methane, and participate in the carbon cycle. Thanks to them, the soil of the Amazon remains fertile and the ecosystem stable. A distinctive feature of thermophilic archaea is that they often go unnoticed even by instruments. They may not emit heat or light, and they do not form colonies like fungi or bacteria. And that is precisely why, for a long time, they were considered invisible forms of life. But as soon as scientists began to study them under microscopes, a new dimension was revealed, a whole parallel world hidden beneath our feet. And this world is much older than we are. The next organism, however, does not hide underground but on the surface, and protects itself in the most unconventional way. Chemical beetles. One of the most astonishing discoveries in the Amazon jungle was the bombardier beetle, Tuvu, a representative of the Brachinus genus. This tiny insect is armed with a real chemical laboratory inside its abdomen. When a predator attacks it, the beetle instantly ejects a mixture of chemicals from its body, including hydrogen peroxide and hydroquinone. These substances are mixed in a special chamber inside its body. The reaction happens instantly, and a jet of hot gas bursts out, reaching temperatures of up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The shot is accompanied by a click, similar to a mini-explosion. This not only scares off the enemy, but also creates a smoke screen behind which the beetle manages to escape. This defense mechanism is considered one of the most advanced among insects. And at the same time, it is absolutely safe for the beetle itself. For years, scientists have tried to understand how the insect's body withstands such aggression. The answer lies in the unique structure of its internal membranes, which protect it from heat and pressure. Bombardier beetles are found in other parts of the world as well, but in the Amazon, especially large and active species live. Their behavior has become the subject of study for military experts and engineers. As an example of natural engineering that humans have not yet been able to replicate, and while some shoot acid, others build empires. Slave-making ants? In the jungle, nothing is as it seems. Even among such familiar creatures as ants, there are social structures that resemble human ones only far more ruthless. One of the most astonishing examples is slave-making ants. This is the polyergus species, known for its ability to capture and enslave other ant colonies. Their method is blitzkrieg. Special raiding parties burst into the nest of another species, kill the queen, and carry off the larvae. These larvae grow up to become new workers, but now they serve the invaders, feeding them, cleaning them, and building tunnels. The enslaved ants don't even realize that they are outsiders. Chemical signals, pheromones, reprogram their behavior. The most shocking thing is that this isn't fiction. It's part of their survival strategy. Polyergos ants have almost no workers of their own. The entire colony relies on kidnapped workers. Research has shown that such practices are found in dozens of ant species in the Amazon. Each of them has found its own way to recruit slaves. Some use chemicals, others resort to direct capture. When we think that cruelty is unique to humans, we should take a look inside an anthill. Sometimes reality is far more cynical than anything we can imagine. And in this world, the one who survives is not only the one who can take by force, but also the one who can disguise themselves as a deadly threat.
The Discovery of the Century Every year, scientists in the Amazon describe hundreds of new species. Over the past decades, thousands of previously unknown organisms have been found here, from fish and frogs to mammals and microorganisms. In 2022, for example, 27 new species were discovered in the Madre de Dios region, including an amphibious mouse, a unique squirrel, a spiny mouse, as well as dozens of new species of butterflies, amphibians, and fish. But the numbers are just the tip of the iceberg, According to experts, up to 80% of the living creatures in the Amazon have yet to be described. They live, breathe, interact with the world, but remain outside the human field of vision. They are invisible until science learns how to see them. That is why every new expedition into the jungle is a chance to change our understanding of life. Every movement in the grass, every strange spot on the bark of a tree, perhaps it's not just a shadow but a signal, a call, a reminder that we still know far too little. Humans are guests in this world. And the deeper we venture into the forest, the clearer it becomes. The true masters of the planet may not be those we are used to seeing.